हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय एडो स्पेस होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एंड लर्निंग वेल इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज गो टू माय प्लेलिस्ट टू वॉच सम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस So let's talk about today's video. It's all about Golgi apparatus. In previous video, I have described about the endoplasmic reticulum. If you got understood about endoplasmic reticulum, then this video will become so easy to understand because these two organelles work together and their functions are pretty same. So without further ado, let's get started. of golgi apparatus the golgi apparatus is also known as golgi complex golgi body or simply the golgi the camelo golgi the camelo golgi identified this type of structure that is golgi apparatus in the cytoplasm of an eukaryotic cell in 1897 in 1897 and it was named after him in 1898 it is the very first organelle that was discovered in the eukaryotic cell it is the part of endomembrane system in the cytosol of a cell now you all be thinking what is an endomembrane system of a cell so let's me describe you what is that we all know that endo means inside the cell so basically it is a membrane system inside a cell where group of membranes and organelles work together to modify package and transport proteins and lipids it's like let me take an example of a factory okay this is a food processing factory suppose we we have this a food processing factory which are divided into so many compartments which are having which are performing their specific functions each compartment is provided with some specific functions now this endomembrane system is supposed to be a kind of factory okay and we are taking example of a food factory where the food is first going to be clean this compartment is for cleaning the food okay and the second one is for processing food here the processing of food takes place processing and the third compartment is for sorting the sorting out the good food and the bad food sorting and then the packaging of food and after that packaging this compartment is for transporting the food okay so when the food comes first it goes to cleaning then processing then sorting then packaging and then transporting and up transporting they are going to their destinations okay just like that this kind of system inside our cell where which help in modifying packaging and transporting proteins and lipids to their destination is known as endomembrane system so the endomembrane system in an eukaryotic cell 
is a group of membranes and organelles that works together to modify, package and transport proteins. So, let me remove this. Suppose we have the proteins and lipids. This is above our proteins and lipids. Okay. So, after this, they goes to the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum. And then, they goes to Golgi apparatus through transport vesicles through transport vesicles which acts as a mediator which connect the endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi apparatus. So, this is transport vesicle. Through transport vesicles, the endoplasmic reticulum where the proteins are processed transport vesicles, they goes to the Golgi apparatus. Then they goes to the Golgi apparatus. Okay. And inside the Golgi apparatus, in the lumen of Golgi apparatus, there is a modification of the proteins and lipids takes place where some groups like phosphate, sulfate or some carbohydrate groups are attached to them. And then after sorting out, they are transported to their destination. They are transported to their destination. So, the endomembrane system involves nuclear envelope, lysosomes, vesicles, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus and plasma membrane as well. These organelles work together to modify, package, tag and transport proteins and lipids that form the membranes. Now, it packages proteins into membrane-bound vesicles inside the cell before the vesicle sent to their destination. So, suppose this is our Golgi apparatus. Okay, this is the cis phase of Golgi apparatus. And this is the trans phase, the cis phase where the transport vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum comes and then get attached to the cisterny of Golgi apparatus. This is the inside which is known as the lumen. Okay, this is the lumen. Then this transport vesicles then again pinched off and then attached and detached attached and detached to these and ultimately get transported to their destination through trans phase. Okay. The lumen contain glycosylation enzymes that attach various sugar monomers to protein as protein moves through the Golgi apparatus. Therefore, it significantly help in processing proteins for secretion. So, you all must be thinking why these sugar monomers are going to be added in the proteins and lipids. As we know that through the trans phase of Golgi apparatus, they are going to their particular destination but how these proteins and lipid knows that they have to go to their destination or which place they have to go for this they uh, the, inside the lumen the sugar monomers which also acts as a signal proteins which also acts as a signal that attached to the proteins through which they are 
transported to their particular destination. The structure of Golgi apparatus. So it is membrane bound organelle that is made up of a series of tightly aligned flattened stacked pouches called cistern. Suppose this is our nuclear envelope. Okay. This is our nuclear envelope which is interrupted with nuclear pore complexes. This is the outer nuclear membrane which is interrupted with nuclear pore complexes. So, through the outer nuclear membrane, there is a, another membrane system that is endoplasmic reticulum arises. Okay, this is endoplasmic reticulum. The part that is just proximity to the nuclear envelope is rough endoplasmic reticulum due to presence of ribosomes and after that some part of endoplasmic reticulum is lacking these ribosomes which is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulums. So let's we make the dotted line structure this is these are ribosomes okay so this particular is rer rough endoplasmic reticulum and this is smooth endoplasmic reticulum so the proteins are formed by ribosomes are kept inside the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum where the processing of endoplasmic reticulum the sorry the processing of proteins takes place okay where the folding up of proteins and also so many things takes place and after that through this smooth endoplasmic reticulum a small area is getting pinched off which contain processed protein or lipids and when it pinched off it become vesicle okay now it is in the form of vesicle containing processed lipid and protein now there is another organelle that is our golgi apparatus this which is made up of series of tightly aligned and flattened stacked pouches known as cisterni so these are the cisterni and inside which this is the lumen the lumen of cisterni the lumen of cisterni contains so many enzymes which help in processing of which help in adding sulfate or phosphate to the lipid or proteins so the processing of proteins takes place inside the lumen of Golgi apparatus where addition of some chemical groups like SO4, SO4 which means sulfate group, okay, sulfate group or phosphate group, phosphate group or also sugar monomers or signal sequences due to which these proteins goes to their destination in the cell. So, 
this particular is the cis phase of the Golgi apparatus and this one is the trans phase. Now this transport vesicle containing the processed protein is going to attach to the cisterni of Golgi apparatus. It going to attach and detached. Okay, again and again. Once it get attached and another time it gets detached and again attached and detached. And after that, through the trans phase, this particular protein is detached off and then through the this is our plasma membrane okay which is having composition of phospholipid bilayer so the after this transport vesicles get paced off from the cisterni of Golgi apparatus. This is going to do exocytosis. The exocytosis is the process where the transport vesicles get attached to the plasma membrane and then the exo means outside. Through the exocytosis, this particular transport vesicle transports its protein to outside the cell. Okay, now this protein is get outside the cell. So, let's we take a quick revise what we have learned about Golgi apparatus, its structure and how it works. So, This is the complete structure of Golgi apparatus. As I just told you, it's having two phases, the cis phase and the trans phase. And the cisterni that is present at the middle portion is also known as median phase. So the incoming transport vesicles, these are coming from the endoplasmic reticulum are containing the processed proteins are going to attach to the cisterni of Golgi apparatus. So, these are going to attach to the cisterni. So, attaching and detaching process takes place and once the complete processing of or sorting of the proteins and lipids takes place, they are coming out to form a newly formed vesicle which contain a processed or completely refined protein and lipids which are ready to get transported. So, these newly formed vesicles are through the trans phase of the Golgi apparatus are going to transport to outside the cell through the, through the plasma membrane. Okay. That's all for today and if you want to know more about Golgi apparatus, please text me below and share your suggestions about the topics you want me to cover in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.